Of course, the pandemic has decimated the cruise industry, which tens of thousands of South Floridians depend on for work. And tonight, one of the big three cruise lines admits it may just not survive. Here's CBS 4's Ty Russell. Miami-based Norwegian Cruise Line is looking for its own lifeline. The company told investors business may be over if a wave of money doesn't come their way. Cruise season for the year 2020, at least from the U.S. domestic market, is for all intents and purposes dead. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg says Norwegian and others are doing whatever they can to survive, like borrowing money. Norwegian, Royal Caribbean, and Carnival were scrambling to raise capital. Uh, to tap their own capital markets, uh, their credit lines. Cruise lines don't qualify for bailouts like airlines, so Norwegian is taking similar steps as Royal Caribbean and Carnival to stay afloat the rest of the year. In March, the Harris Poll found 22% of Americans say it'll take a year or longer to take a cruise. One in 10 told researchers never again. A lot of repeat cruisers that keep the cruise industry going. The Greater Miami Visitors and Conventions Bureau sees the uphill battle for business all around. It recently launched Miami Shines. That's a campaign to get locals out when the area reopens, and it's an effort to attract tourists. When you think about the longshoremen who work on the docks, who are not working now because of the cruise ships are sitting idle, we, we cannot allow the cruise industry to go under. Gordon Eric Knowles is the president of Miami-Dade Chamber of Commerce. He says the possibility of losing a cruise line is a punch in the gut for South Florida. We're talking about the business of the cruise industry. We're talking about the business of restaurants. We're talking about hotels. When people come down on cruises, they stay for two or three days. In 2019, Florida Trend Magazine found Norwegian to be the 20th largest public company in the state. It brought in more than $5 billion in revenue and had 30,000 employees worldwide, some of whom are seeing furloughs and pay cuts. That may continue if the federal no sale order extends beyond the end of July. The idea that Norwegian is going to go under is a little remote. The idea that they may have to lay off a lot of people if the CDC extends that no sale order is not so remote. Tonight, we still haven't heard back from Norwegian. As for Greenberg, he believes the cruise industry will bounce back. However, it remains to be seen how people will be able to enjoy cruising in those large crowds if there is still no widespread testing and a vaccine. In Miami, I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.